All right, somewhere on the Flash 001 USA compound, I came across a yellow jacket nest while I was out here on the riding lawnmower. So now, I'm going to see if I can find these bastards. Oh, they're here somewhere. Oh, there they are. I gotta find their nest, so I can come out here and nuke them tonight. Okay, I see them buzzing around down there. Them some bitches came up on me like it was no tomorrow, but I didn't get stung. I stirred them up the first time, and I come back around. And I've seen their damn wings glistening in the sun. So, I see them, but I don't see the nest yet. I may have covered it up, too, with grass. So that's not going to help things, is it? Wait a minute. I see some action over here, boys. I hate yellow jackets. And when I'm finished with these little bastards tonight, they're going to yellow jacket heaven. Okay, I'm near them. There's one on the window right there. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you. Fuck you. Because you ain't getting in. Now, hopefully I've stirred them up some more with this truck. Get out of there. I just got to find the nest. Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause out so I can drive with two hands, and when I zero in on it, I'll bring the camera back up. Okay, there's their shithole right there. We'll sit here and watch this for a second or two. By the time you guys see this video, these little bastards will be in bee heaven. Oh yeah, their truck's getting them all riled up over here. There you go. Let me just drive through them a few times to piss them off some more. I'll be right back. I'm trying to do this one hand to see if I can just rile them up some more here, get them all going. Now, that ought to do it. I'm going to spin back around one more time here. Just for good measure. I came within. There's one on the window right there. <laughs> All right. Yes, I will drive this truck around the block one time, boys, to make sure that they know hitchhikers when I open up the door. You can see them all buzzing around down here. They're swarming pretty good. Let's look at this hole down here they got. They're all in the grass out here too. It's the landmine waiting to happen. I can get in here with him. I had to be real quick on this. I threw a ball of tinfoil right next to the nest. 
and that way I'll be able to find it with a flashlight when I come out here tonight. Damn bees are useless, these kind are anyhow. Okay, now for that drive around the block, because I'm sure the whole bottom side of this truck is probably covered with them. So let's go. True story about this part of the yard you're looking at right here. Now I've got a bunch of small plum trees over here now, but I used to have a big one before it got old and died. And uh, I was out here cutting grass one year. My neighbor across the street was sitting there drinking beer. He seen it before I did. I come around, it was two nests. They're probably five or six feet apart. I hit them with that damn riding lawnmower, and it looked like a cloud. It didn't even look like bees. Like a yellow cloud flying out of the ground. Well, I came back around the second time, and I guess he was figuring out what was happening. And so I seen him standing up, his eyes getting big as saucers as he stared until he figured out, hey, it's bees. So he goes to try to warn me, but at the same time, I seen him. And um, I couldn't stop the riding lawnmower in time. And so what I did, I mean, I was like Superman or something. I literally jumped off of the lawnmower while it was rolling. Literally leaped off of it backwards and um, took off running. The lawnmower coasted to a dead stop right over the top of their nest. And when it did, I mean, there was no getting the lawnmower until the sun went down. And they were trying to sting the tires. They were trying to do everything, try to attack that lawnmower. And of course, you know, the, the riding lawnmowers had the shutoff switch in them. So basically, you know, it stopped when it stopped. So I wasn't worried about doing anything to the engine or anything like that. But they were all over it. And I wish I would have had this video camera then because I would have filmed it. And um, I mean, it was vicious. Them little guys went after this lawnmower like it was no tomorrow. And I got back out there that night. I didn't even crank it up. I just put it neutral and I pushed the damn thing out of the way. And when I did, you know, I had my path cleared so I was able to get in there and find their nest. But I had to get on my hands and knees in the middle of the night. And because when they're in the nest in dark, they're not going to come out on you. They take an act of Congress. But I had to get out there. I was out there with a flashlight until I found the holes. And I gassed them. And that was the end of it. So what I've learned since then, because where I'm at, I see bees all the time out there. At least every other year when I'm out here during the summertime. So that's not too bad. This is the first nest I've seen. This has been the second year. So that's not too bad, guys. But what I normally do, like I said, I'll just sit down and let these guys, you know, do their thing. And when I find them, I'll get out there and do my thing. But I'll normally use this truck when I look for the nest because I'm protected in here. There's no leaks in the truck where the bees are going to get into me. And basically, when I find a nest like that with a lawnmower, and I'm fortunate not to be ate up them little bastards, I'll take the truck and I'll ride out in the yard, and I'll search and find their hole. And sometimes I'll do it with binoculars, but most of the time I like to do it with the truck because I can get right up and personal and find that hole in the ground. And um, like I said, those guys, they're going to be dealt with. Now, hopefully, they don't have another hole that I'm not aware of. I guess I'll find out because I'll be cutting the grass tomorrow, and what I want to do now is just let them calm back down and go back into their hole and once they go back to sleep tonight I'm gonna to visit them like Santa Claus All right. if there's any bees on the truck they're not on it now and I'll tell you why I drove around the block here too first time I used the truck, I pulled up in the yard, found the nest, marked it, and backed the truck back up <laughs> to the house, opened the door, and three of them little bastards come flying out and stung me, because they were sitting on the top of the truck, and I didn't know it, because I was only going like five or ten miles an hour, but now when I came out that door, they were like, hello, and they got me, so I figured out, hey, guess what, when I use the truck, ride it around the block once or twice, and make sure that everything blows off of it. And then the deal is done. And right now it's about almost seven o'clock here, so um, I'm probably going to go ahead and go for a bicycle ride. I've had enough yard work for today.
this has been a pretty good year for the bees there's no doubt about it I've had a lot of paper nests out in around the buildings and stuff and the regular wasp the ones that just make the paper nest not yellow jacket not hornets just regular old wasp they're not so bad man they're more clumsy you know now hornets on the other hand and yellow jackets them little bastards are dangerous man they'll get you I've got some hornet nests around the house but they're out in the woods out there I do see them on occasion I got some of those bald face hornets and big old black and white hornets but um, I don't mess with them you know they are good for the environment and as long as they're not somewhere where they shouldn't be or they're near me I don't I could care less but when they're out in the yard like that or someplace that I'm gonna be running lawnmowers and whatnot no way in hell okay let me get the truck backed up I'm trying to throw this thing in gear and hold the scamper at the same time Alrighty. Now speaking of wasp, I've had to get a couple nests here this year, but it's not been too bad. Alright. I have one that got right up under that wood and I went under the house. This is about two weeks ago. When I slammed this, some of they come they come falling out, but it was regular wasp. And um, I got out here and and what I like to use, guys, is I use soap and water. I just use regular uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid. I found out that a cup to a gallon of water, it's uh, not going to poison the environment. And you can, well, you can just spray it up in there, and it definitely does the job. Okay, guys, we're out at the nest. I've got the gasoline. And I've just got a little old orange juice jar full of it. And let's take a look at the hole in the ground here. That was a tin full ball from earlier. There's their hole. And here we go. That's it. They're finished. And Close off their tomb with the tinfoil ball. Alright guys, the yellow jackets are now gone. They are deceased. They have been sent to yellow jacket heaven. And we are now at ground zero and if you can see the grass is discolored here and here and let me see if I can get it focused in over here. We'll walk over here in a second. But right over here, I had three nests out here, not just two. And I'm going to tell you what, when I hit these guys with the lawnmower, oh boy, were they pissed. Anyhow, all I did was come out here at the nighttime, as you've seen, and I just dumped a little bit of gas into the nest, and that done it. And you don't have to set the nest on fire. It's not that you have to get out here and try and burn them or, you know, have a war with them. You come out here at nighttime when these guys are dormant, you pour a little bit of gas down the nest, and that's it. That's th their history. Because once that gas hits them, just the vapors will nuke them. So there you go. My yard is now clean. It is now healed of all the evil spirits. Yeah, there's a third nest right there. I actually shoved a ball of tinfoil in it. You may be able to see it. Let me see. Right here. I don't even want to get my fingers down. I'm still like, paranoid about this. But anyhow, yeah, the, they're out of here now. And... We do see a lot of bees out here, guys. We see a lot of them because of being out in the country like this. So it's not unusual. But now last year wasn't so bad. I don't think I've seen any out here where I cut grass. I normally see them around the buildings or I got hornet's nests, you know, that hang from the trees out here, which, you know, you'll see some of them like make some nest out in the woods out here. But they don't mess with me and I don't mess with them. And they are beneficial. But when I have yellow jackets get out here and actually get into the yard where I'm going to be working at and make a war zone out here, yep, that's when they got to go. Now speaking of, I'll share something here with you. My wife loves to hang these damn bird feeders up to feed birds with. You know, the kind of bird feeders that get put up and then they're never used. And I'm not going to kill them, but I'm going to show you guys something here. And they don't mess with me, and I don't mess with them. This is just regular paper note wasp right here and that damn thing is loaded buddy
there must be a million billion zillion trillion of them on there but anyhow there you go pretty big nest and um, not gonna mess with them I got another one over here not quite as big but I'll let these guys finish out the summer here then once they're done I'm gonna pull these things down sorry about the camera shake I'm gonna pull these things down to make sure that um, they don't have a nest or a place to do this next year at I forgot all about these things and I was around here with the riding lawnmower and I bumped one of the branches and they didn't fly it at me but you know they came out of there and and I backed off and these things aren't aggressive like yellow jackets so I don't you know I can handle these things as long as they're not near doorways or something where I'm gonna be going in and out of my building but um there you go so the threat has been assessed and dealt with you guys have a good one flash zero zero one a U, a S, and a A, 10-4 over, and motherfucking out.